Welcome back everyone to episode 271 of our Let's Play to Reform the Taiyi Sect. Uh, I apologize in advance, uh, maybe you could tell uh, I am a little bit sick right now. Uh, this thing is still lighting for some reason. Uh, but anyway, um, so I apologize uh, in advance if my voice cracks or sounds terrible. I'll try to, I'll try to sp speak as little as possible this episode, but uh, I'm here. I'm here, so that's the most important thing. Uh, so, in addition to cultivating uh, our inner disciples today, I'm going to be cultivating my wellness with uh, orange juice and vitamins and stuff. So, <laughs> I'll try to get better soon. But enough of that sad stuff. Uh, let's try to uh, figure out what we were doing here. Um, let's see. Yeah, we were trying to do a sub-spirit challenge. First, it was going to be jaw. But now I think we should probably just go through and do as many as we can on all of our people. We're going to try Chi, and I took off her artifact, uh, I recall, uh, for this. But Chi has that trait that causes her to... Um, okay. Uh, Chi has that trait that causes her to uh, have very little uh, Chi capacity in her artifact. So I'm going to equip this thing again. Uh, this is, yeah, she's Earth, so she'll want a metal one. Let's just take a look at it. Yeah, it's only 502, so it kind of, for this kind of character with the, uh, the Sunflower Law, it really makes sense to have, uh, it really makes sense to have um, the artifact equipped instead. So instead what we're going to do uh, I'm going to teach Chi Shan uh, the uh, Chi recovery stuff. So it's uh, Reversa. Okay, she already has that. And then Heavenly. Okay, she. Okay, so she already has all of them. Um, let's see, is there a just restore? No. I thought there were uh, books that we had that would actually recover... Uh, that would actually recover our, um, she can't learn anything anyway, because, right, because her, uh, her, um, orthodox attainment is too low, so she can't learn anything else. Uh, let's see, what can we learn? Artifact impact, I mean, normally I would never buy this, but... Whatever, I guess. At this point, uh, we have to learn something. We could even have her double as like a... Uh, this is orthodox, so I'm going to take that too. Because uh, we could potentially use that too, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could even take just these random stat increasers, which don't do anything, but... I don't know. I don't feel a right, uh, you know, just throwing away our stuff. Uh, this could be interesting. Um, definitely don't really want to do that at all. Artifact, she is the opposite of what we want to. Hmm. And then talismans. <laughs> Completely useless to uh, our character here. Uh, oh, okay, let's do that. Natural resilience sounds good. Um, all of these are just kind of. I mean, they're not. They're not useful at all. But um, I guess we'll take them. We could pick this up too, just just to have orthodox attainment. I prefer to keep that when we actually have a Heavenly Tribulation. You know, this is an option that we have then to delay it, obviously. Which we can only learn the one time. Alright. So anyway. Uh, yeah, reform the combat branch, Tribulations, and Area. Uh, let's see... So I think we already did that. It looks good to me. 
Uh, oh, no, we did not. All right. Let's sort this out, too. Uh, branch. This whole area. Remove branch. There we go. There, that that uh, looks good to me. So I think uh, we're done with that now. Yeah, so this firework dragon thing, I don't know if it's actually doing anything. It's not uh, lit anymore. Mm -hmm. Everyone's asleep. Almost looks a little bit different now this time, though. I think we lit it uh, closer to the night, right? This is about the normal time, I guess, you would uh, light fireworks. But, uh, yeah, I don't, don't think it does anything. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I'm missing something there, but it does, doesn't look like it does anything. Uh, this guy's been wailing on this thing forever. Hopefully someone will come along and, and deal with him. Huh. Uh, let's see. It is said that something magical happened when nine fireworks are lit at the same time under a starry sky. Oh! Um... Right, okay, so maybe we have to physically light these fireworks in addition to that. Mm. Okay. We have a new theory to test out. Wang Bang is this dude's name. Uh, no comment. Alright, BE's uh, basically done with this stuff. Uh, well, uh, still got a little bit more work to do with the eyes here. Probably one more uh, for our 8x here. Do need to kind of think about what we want for our additional uh, organ uh, slots. Some of these organs, though, on this character actually do belong in a secret body, so we have to be uh, aware of that. Make sure we're not messing around with stuff that uh, we might want secret body uh, tags on. What is going on over here? I was going to say, are we going to kill these guys or what? <laughs> it's like... Leave my outer disciples to... I, I, well, you know what? We The issue is we don't have anyone defending the sect. But honestly, I don't want... Well, actually, you know, we could have uh, BE defend the sect. Because uh, we don't really care if he has condemnation, right? Mm. Yeah, we definitely don't want to turn uh, this guy to be a defender because... He'll, as soon as he starts fighting a cultivator, he's just going to fall over. <laughs> so we don't want that. Um, anyway. Uh, what was I even looking at just now? Okay. Let's see. Let's see, we were looking at uh, Wang Bang. He's practicing. He doesn't belong to any uh, sect. I totally lost my train of thought. What was I looking at just now? Got interrupted by this this combat going on here. And now I don't even know. Alright. Anyway. This guy's ready to go uh, for his uh, first post-Golden Core breakthrough. Uh, looks like all the good seats are taken. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, uh, we need to feed trees. Uh, that was probably the other thing that I was thinking of. I think. I think there was something else. <laughs> I was actively talking about something else. And it just totally... It's just gone. 
Uh, you know what? Actually, we'll eat the soul pearl on that, and actually on this one, too. I think we were talking about BE. Oh, yeah, we were talking about defenders for the sect, right? So, BE, um... BE could do it. We don't have to worry about condemnation for tribulations, but what I am worried about is condemnation for this this torch dragon. So uh, I'm going to look that up probably uh, right now, actually. Oh, actually, let's see. Is there any other event going on? And, uh, Emily after obsessions and then Phoenix in the winter. Yes, we still have a little bit of time. Uh, Phoenix has about three weeks, something like that. Uh, and then uh, Emily, how are you looking? Mm, pretty good. I don't even know if this is the last stage for her, so she might be here for a little bit longer still. Mm-hmm. All right, some guy. You still have five days, so you're on hold, basically. We could go through with you now if we wanted to. Um... Yeah, I think this one is one that we would have to prepare for a little bit. So we'll hold on that a little bit longer here, too. Jangfei gained some stamina. Always good to see that. Where is Jangfei? He's up here. Nice. He needs it, too. He's working as fast as he can. As soon as these guys are maxed, uh, we will look to proceed with their golden cores and then... Uh, um, replace some of our older characters, but there's a specific reason. Was it the formations? There's a specific reason that we wanted to move, like, some of these older guys out. Oh, man. My brain is so foggy right now, guys. Oh, it's terrible. There's some kind of... I didn't leave it on here either. There's some kind of great reason to do this, and I, I don't I don't remember what it is. Uh, anyway, let's do something simple that we know how to how to deal with. Are you wrong? You know what to do. All right. Uh, all right. Well. Okay. So it's ten o'clock. Or wait, that's uh, 8 o'clock. So we'll wait a couple more hours, and I'm going to try to light this one and eight others around it, and then if nothing happens, I'll try to light a ninth. Okay. Butcher. Uh, definitely sounds like someone we want to kill. I don't know if anything happened. Um, I did light the ninth there at the end, but... Mm -hmm. I don't really know. Maybe the nine have to be lit in advance, and then you light this? I don't know. Unclear to me. So, uh, we'll probably just leave it there. I, maybe I'll look that up. I'm just curious, you know what I mean? Like, it's probably nothing at all, honestly. <laughs> it's just an aesthetic thing, but... Whatever. 
Um, okay, what was that pop-up that we just had? Oh man, I'm losing my brain. I think we had something that I wanted to address, but I don't remember what it is now already. Let's claim this stuff. Uh, so we do have an attack coming. So probably what we'll do is we will move our uh, outer disciples out for a little bit. You guys can uh, camp at uh, yeah, Mount Baron. This is the only three now. Yagami uh, is uh, strong enough to survive uh, a shotgun blast of that. All these trees are working. Good. Um, so I'm going to have you eat the holy nectar. So actually, we might need more soul pearls now that I think about it. Um... Because we'll want as much of that holy nectar that we can get just for the uh, devouring here, you know what I mean? Because I don't think we can eat the soul pearl to get Yaogwai Essence. Let's try it out. I don't think so. I think we tried this, right? Well, let me double check. Maybe we tried it already. Um, you know, we haven't tried it yet. Okay, let's go to a 1x speed. Oh, uh, I was paused the whole time. I need to sleep, guys. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I have to go in for a long day of work, too, so. Life is not fun right now for me. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, we do get Yaogai Essence. Okay, so we don't even need to do that. Maybe we get more, though, if we do that. Um, is it worth it, though? Let's just eat, like, a few more. It's hard to tell exactly what number you have. Uh, let's see. Um... So he's got 14. He gained 2. I think he gained 4 when he ate the um, the other thing. But we can we can get soul pearls very easily. I think there's a spot over here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what was it? Death Knell. Death Knell Cave right here. So we could send uh, some, some metal cultivator to go grab that stuff for us. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, we'll hold off on some. We'll hold off on tribulations until uh, that ancient cultivator sh uh, shows up. So in the meantime, let's read uh, more torch dragon. So God of the Eternal Night. Okay, yeah, shows up in his yin form and gains a stack of lunar. Form. So it's the same thing, just opposite. And they and they do flip back and forth too. Okay, makes sense. So, um, Thunder of Divinity, call upon Yin Thunder, filled with the divine will to deal damage to the target and temporarily reduce target's mental state by two. Oh, and then the lower the state, the greater the damage. Interesting. So this will be pretty easy to deal with then. Uh, Demon Dragon Breath. Well, that sounds great. <laughs> Tor Torch Dragon blows a heavy dragon breath toward one direction. Attaching a Malignant Dragon Avatar. Is that the same one? A Benign Dragon Okay, so it's a different one. Doing damage to every enemy touched by the breath. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's basically the same thing, but just an evil side. Because Yin is also kind of like associated with evil too. Um, evil Abyss releases upon the target with the highest mental state and deals great damage. If it's lower than 30, 
they will be heavily injured and lose control of their chi. And then it explodes and does more damage. Okay. And it would be eventually absorbed by the Torch Dragon into more Lunar Frost stacks. So when he gets Lunar Frost stacks at 100, he does Demon Shapeshifting. Uh, unleashes the manifestations of demonic force and attaches uh, Malignant Dragon Avatar to all inner disciples. In any range. The Torch Dragon's egg is destroyed. Uh, is that the same? It's the same, isn't it? So it destroys... Oh. Okay. So I'll kill this guy first. This one only has 6.7. Um, you can help out too. Actually, you can too. I feel sorry for this guy. Punch him. Punch him again, B. Punch him a third time. Punch. Oh. Well, hey, uh, no one died. It's the most important thing. We learned our lesson successfully from last time. Uh, this guy's almost out of chi, so everyone is upset. No one died. That's the critical thing. Exorcist records of the perfected warrior. The black vulture banner? Oh boy. Let's definitely uh, put that in. B got shredded. He's fine. Uh, and we have to listen to the, uh, <laughs> the waterfall. Uh, we'll look at our loot in a, in a, in a minute. I kind of want to keep reading this. So, um, okay. So yeah. So while it's in the eternal night phase, it'll hatch the eggs of Yin. So we have to be kind of cognizant of which eggs we need to move at what times, I guess. Uh, we don't have to mess around with the eggs of Yang while it's in eternal night and, and vice versa. Um, it then starts out with three eggs of the opposite type and, re and appears in the opposite type. Uh, it also gains 50 stacks of Solar Fair Breath. Uh, and then clears all of the state uh, changes that he made. So, uh, alright. Interesting. So how does he gain stack? He gains stacks um, every six seconds. Is that the same with the night form? Every six. Okay, so it is a kind of like a timed thing. We need to, we need to kill him quick. The quicker, the better. Um, the malignant dragon avatar. We use artifacts to attack its enemy. Does the same thing happen with the benign one? No, actually. The benign one casts spells. This one actually does artifact damage. Okay, interesting. Oh, the chi and spell power are also related. So this one releases artifact. So actually, in the in the day form, the torch dragon is very tanky because he's gonna have bonus chi regen. Okay. Uh, when releasing the yin yang rage. Uh. Yep, Torch Dragon will hatch all the eggs of Yin. Oh, that's important to know. Eggs of Yin can only be suppressed with very auspicious feng shui. So we could put it in this room, for example, or not that room anymore. We can put Yang in this room now. 
because we have the uh, yin vessel here. Which uh, is kind of funny then, yeah, because yin would, would counter yang in this sense. <laughs> Literally and figuratively here. Um, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so uh, we still... Uh, th this sort of makes sense to me. I think, uh, I think I have a decent grasp on it. Uh, I said earlier that I would be do. Oh, we got a division pill. Yes. I said earlier... Oh, there's another... Uh, Relic, too. Okay. Uh, I said earlier we would be doing... Oh, and a prime pill. Nice. Sorry. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting distracted with all the nice loot. Man, this guy was loaded. Plus six purple uh, artifacts. Crazy. Oh, this one's a relic, too. Jeez. Okay. Um, I said earlier we would do the torch dragon on the weekend. I think I might still. Uh, depends on how I'm feeling at this point. Um, I usually, uh, do a pretty good job of heading off, um, sickness when I get it, you know what I mean? Just trying to rest a little bit more, uh, you know, you know, the usual. Vitamins, orange juice, orange juice is my favorite when I'm sick. Uh, usually because it tastes bad, so I know it's doing good. <laughs> orange juice always tastes bad when you're sick, I don't know what it is. But, um, all right, what is this? Oh, this is a cul uh, cultivation speed bonus thing. Oh, look at that. This element is fire. Uh, any size bedroom, good. And it has to be next to a cushion or a bed. So we can do that for sure. The room residents have to be male. Uh, must be two residents. Uh... <laughs> And exactly one bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, um... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, no cushions or chi cushions. What? No cushions or chi cushions. Must have exactly one spirit relic. Um, this is uh, I have a word for this, but it's not okay to say on YouTube. It's 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 a little bit of that. You know what I'm talking about, right? It's a rod. It's a treasure. You know. It's a little bit questionable. Um, uh, the origin of this item. All right. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Okay, we need to make more of these things, too. Uh, Seascape's beliefs are full. Uh, let's have uh, Chi go and grab that, too. Since we've been working on her a little bit. Uh, we do have more fertilizer. Starting to get some of these now. Good to see. Mm -hmm. uh, you're good now. That's good now. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know about this one. <laughs> I guess we could have it in uh, some kind of room like this where it has altars of magic, because that doesn't count, right? As a, 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 a cushion or a chi cushion? Could we put a couple dudes in here? Would this work? Question mark. Uh, well, I guess we could have two people uh, in here, right? So if we assign Ray, mm -hmm. and then Zhang Fei, we could do that. But then Zhang Fei's cultivation will be tampered with. I don't really want that.
but this gives us a 40% cultivation speed bonus, so I, I really do want to get it. Um, I mean, we, we could also use it for our suppression room, but then again, we're starting to get pretty loaded on our suppression room. I guess we could put that in there, though. Worst case scenario, if we decide we don't want to deal with this, we can put it in the suppression room. <laughs> the dragon rod. <laughs> Alright. So Ray can sit right there. Uh, how about... Uh, we can't move Sutra Dude yet because he's still trying to get depressed and that might not be depressing enough. Oh, you know what? Actually, also, it needs to be a double bed. Um, yeah, this is... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about doing this, guys. Okay, demolish that. And then, oh, uh, what? Okay, there it is. Okay. I was about to say, it just took a while, I guess. Okay, so... Uh, Ray. And who else? Has to be a dude. Could be way wrong. I don't think you would mind a, uh... An earth bed. Um... Could be Joe. I like that. Joe and Ray. <laughs> and there it goes. Hey, it works. <laughs> now we have to decide if it's worth it. Uh, you you guys tell me. Leave a comment. What do you guys think? Um, I, uh, I have my own thoughts on it. <laughs> I'm going to try not to look at it that often. Uh, not spectre refinement. Or feng shui identifying. Uh, yeah. Let's just say it's, uh, strange. Abnormal. <laughs> this one gives you breakthrough chance bonus, which is pretty cool. Must include both males and females, though. Eh. Uh, crafting success rate bonus. Don't really care. Uh, learning speed in a kitchen. I wonder if that would help you learn, like, the cooking skill. Hmm. I don't know. Not that interesting to me. Um, oh, and there's another... Man, we haven't done feng shui identifying in a while. Mm-hmm. Minus 20 attainment. Tiny room, though. This one's minus 25. This is actually pretty good, but it's just... We can't... We can't match the fact that it's a tiny, tiny room, really. Or it wouldn't be useful to us, I should say. Alright, Desolation Master. Uh, I think you'll probably get the, through this one uh, without, without an issue. Oh, I forgot we moved those over here. And then... Um, Cheer gen and shield. You've already got everything equipped. Yes. So we'll try it with three. Hopefully we succeed. If we don't, well, then we have to do a rebirth, and that that's the end of that. Which we do. Sh oh, should have plenty of rebirth pills still. Yes, so we at least have one. That's That's the number we need to make sure we have. Let's give it a shot. So this is a wood tribulation. So we'll burn it. Uh, and see what happens. I'm going to get a drink of water here. Uh, yeah, you 
might be dead. Definitely looks like he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Hmm. So I guess, uh... Tribulation 5 is a no-go. Because we poured a lot into some guy this time. And he just, he can't keep up with it. Um, the spirit chakram is the thing that's killing us, I think, the most. Alright. Well, that settles that. Let's uh, ban the sword. All of his stuff is banned here, too. Just unban all that. Well, he tried. Yeah, kind of a waste. I, that was a bit greedy on my part. Um, just honestly keep everything on him, right? I don't see any reason not to. Too many equipping orders. <laughs> Apparently if you uh, equip a whole set of things, uh, the game freaks out. Did not know that. Don't forget your sword. It's dangerous to go alone. Uh, Jada, okay. Random dude number two for the episode. So... Um, yeah, I don't want you to do any work. Uh, we could just have you take a forming pill, but I think this makes more sense, to be honest. Smelt the umbrella. Yeah, because uh, Ganoderma and Ginseng are pretty pretty cheap. Uh, let's see. So you have you're missing a talisman. Which one did we not equip? Well, the one we want is Heaven Sent, so let's just take that one anyway. I don't know, which one did he have before? I don't know. Oh, uh, right. Um, this one, for attainment. This one's better for him right now. Boost his stats. Uh, and promote into seven slaughtering sword. Why is it? Not? It's normally better than this, isn't it? Whatever. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I equipped it, but you know, didn't actually use it. Um, turn this thing off for now. Hopefully you remember where that is. Probably won't. Set your mentor uh, as uh, Tonetta. Oh man, we made a lot of mistakes here. Uh, I never moved him to the battle branch. Hmm. How could I make such a huge blunder? Okay, so maybe with the battle branch, he could have done it. Hmm, that sucks. Okay, well. He is already in the right branch. 
uh, Yarogami's chilling right there, so we'll give some guy... Well, he might still already have it set. Yeah, he does. Okay. Uh, where did he go? Did he go over here? Oh, uh, yes. Taking uh, the mentor. Um, I don't know if we have any... Uh, oh, you guys can come back, too. My bad. I don't know if we have any uh, inspiration laying around. I might just have to have him sit there and cultivate until we get some. Uh, Mount South is actually uh, pretty close. So anyway. Uh, his mental state is zero, basically. Uh, that's right. We had on... Drop this thing too. Oh, that's a nice overall work efficiency, one hundred sixty eight percent. I think that's way better than this, right? equip the uh, Divinity Mind. Although I think there is a better one, but it doesn't really matter. Alright. Alright, so... Did you go and equip the thing now? Yes. So, turn that off, activate that... Actually, we'll do that. Time to cultivate. Yeah. Doesn't take long. Uh, do we have a, a rebirth pill again? Good. And then do we have a blade pill? It's kind of a costly adventure. Uh, we do not have a blade pill. Uh, blade pill. Yeah, do not swallow this ever. Contents are sharp. Earth right there. Excellent. Okay. Music at sunset. And there's this breakthrough again. This one is not an estimated, right? Success, yes. Uh, you're already a primordial spirit. Uh, that's Alcor right there. I think we can go up to the next stage, right? Into Alcade. We'll face the heavenly tribulation after breaking this limit. So, just to make sure, though, have we done it on anyone else? I think we have, right? Like, um, yeah, Way Wrong sits right at Miser. So, all right, that was fast. Yadogami finished his law very fast. I feel like it was just yesterday that he did his golden core. Ah, okay. Uh, well, this is perfect, actually. He can go to Death Knell Cave and get food for uh, BE. Works out. It's a win-win. Uh, pr it probably only needs like 20 times, honestly. Probably less than that. Alright. Things are looking pretty good here. Uh, let's finish reading this, and then we'll probably look to wrap things up. Um, uh, like I said, I'm sick. I can't really keep going here. And I have to work still, so... 
Uh, I think we got a lot of good stuff done, except some guy died. <laughs> Mostly my fault. I'm going to I'm gonna blame that on me. We definitely should have had him in the battle branch that whole time, for sure. And that would have made a huge difference. So, um... He would have, he would, I'm sure he would have done that one. No problem. Uh, Torch Dragon is the manifestation of yin and yang in the mortal realm. So in its day form, only yin elements like metal and water can deal damage to it. And it absorbs damage from yang elements like fire and wood. Uh, so we have to actually actively change out our... Uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, Yadogami is the spiritualist of heaven and earth. That sounds pretty fitting for Yadogami. <laughs> nice. Uh, interesting. So we're going to need to change out artifacts. In its eternal night form, yang elements. So we have to use fire and wood to deal damage to it. And it absorbs damage from yin. Earth element ignores its form but only deals a small amount of damage so we could have earth as well hmm so it seems like we're gonna need uh, someone to take over as a formation guy that is not Tonetta maybe Hmm. Or we could leave the uh hmm. Let's see, we need to do wooden fire, uh wooden fire at the night. But this is also I think when he takes the most damage, right? No, not really. So he he recovers chi, but he's gonna take a lot of damage still, either way. So maybe what we do is we have for Eternal Day, we would have uh, Tonetta deal damage to him because water. Yeah, metal and water deal damage to it during the day. In the day form. So we can start with Tonetta dealing damage to it, and then we have to break off the formation. And we'll probably have Sutra Dude, Izanami, and then maybe even BE could come in there. Hmm. Uh, maybe even like C2 could potentially have a, a, a say in all this too. Hmm. Uh, she could help. I mean, it's not like she's weak. She's just not very strong either. If that makes sense. She can contribute. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. That's an interesting uh, mechanic. We'll have to make sure we we keep an eye on which form it is, because then we have to switch immediately. Uh, Rage of the Creed of Heaven, Mind Shielding. When the eye is destroyed in Eternal Night, uh, the Torch Dragon calls upon Rage of the Creed of Heaven to create Mind Shielding for the character that destroyed the eye, reducing their mental state by 100 for a year? If the character survives mind shielding, their mental state will permanently increase by 20, though. Oh. Wait, really? Whoa, that's crazy, isn't it? Uh, that's kind of neat. Oh, man. All right. Okay, that's cool. Um, Ascension Ancestral Shrine has shown up. I'll look at you later. Um, Inferno of, Car uh, of Karma. Okay, so when you destroy its eye in the daytime as opposed to the night, then uh, it creates Inferno of Karma, uh, Karma for the character that destroyed that person, that eye, increases their condemnation by a thousand for a year. If the character survives Inferno of Karma, uh, their condemnation will permanently reduce by 200. That's pretty nice. So during the day, actually, uh, we could 
uh, Tanetta could actually lower her condemnation fighting this guy, potentially. Because that's probably what's going to happen. And I kind of like that one. Heavenly scale. There's a heavenly scale between Torch Dragon's eyebrows uh, that only shows up after it has released Yin Riang Rage twice. Okay. So we'll have to keep an eye out for an additional uh, thing to attack. And then the Chaos Jade is the source of the Torch Dragon's power that only shows up between the eyebrows after its eyes and have... Okay, so you have to destroy eyes scale. Kid. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Hey, you know, um... I think we got this. I think we got it. It's not too bad. The destruction of the parts isn't isn't the issue at all. So the issue is managing the eggs, right? Because we don't want those things to spawn. And then the other issue is uh, managing artifact damage that we have coming in. I think that's uh, pretty much it. Yeah, so we could have, you know, as as funny as this would sound, we could have C2 be a, a formation leader for us, right? Because she's got, she's got 12 in artifact formation already. She has three artifacts. And they're all fire, of course. Do we form a uh, do we form a formation around C two? Hmm. So that could be what we do. Uh, when it comes to the destruction of the eyes, I kind of do want Tanetta to do it because then that will counteract some of the uh, crazy combination she's had uh, over the time uh, fighting a flood dragon and a phoenix and whatnot. So, hmm. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, I do like the idea of uh, permanent mental state increases too, but by the time that you're like doing that, um, it doesn't really matter what your mental state is. You know what I mean? It's kind of irrelevant, I think. I don't know. Maybe that's uh, maybe I'm not looking at it right. I mean, we could potentially have like. A baby cultivator come in here uh, and break the the body part. Like if we if we leave it with just like a sliver of HP, uh, the the eye with like a sliver of HP left, and then have a um, then have one of our uh, baby cultivators come in here and deal with it, like Ent Ross or something. Because Ent Ross is gonna do fire damage, so he could destroy the eye, and then get 20 bonus mental state. But actually, he doesn't even really need mental state anyway. Hmm. I don't know. Well, actually, no, they would, because that means more Wicked Flux, then. This, this is kind of min-maxy, isn't it? This, this is starting to sound a little ridiculous. Maybe I've had too much ACS for the day. Uh, we have a burst of chi coming through. Uh, it's a good time for everyone. I think we're going to call it there. I hope you enjoyed as always. Uh, sorry again for my voice. If it sounds weird, uh, you already know why. Hopefully I get better soon. And, uh, oh, let's unbam that too. Uh, hopefully I get better soon and we can enjoy a happy uh, slaying of the Torch Dragon. Until next time though, peace.